Yeah, I call it CPR uh, because in the deliverable, in, in the virtual space, especially when managing deliverables, sometimes things can go awry and sometimes it's outside of our control. And so what do you do when your project, despite all good intentions, good efforts, and a great team, start to go awry? Uh, you want to administer or perform CPR as you would on a patient who might be needing some, you know, resuscitation. So C stands for communication plan. P stands for people plan and R stands for risk management plan. Now many of, of uh, many effective managers already do this probably unintentionally. They think about, okay, so what is my communication plan? Who are my stakeholders? How do I make sure I have a project sponsor? How do I touch base with these stakeholders or project sponsors? What are the ways that we want to interact with a team? How do we want to um, overcome some of the challenges of the communication elements that we discussed earlier? So having a communication plan in place is, is very important. The people plan has to do with more than just knowing who my people are, what are their skills, and what are their names, but really understanding almost like beyond the first level or second level, understanding what motivates them. What are they excited by? Uh, what additional skills or capabilities do they have? What are their hobbies? What are their outside uh, interests? So having a people plan, uh, and in fact, what I often do uh, with virtual managers, and um, there are a couple of those in, in the book, is, is put together, write down the name of your people and, and take a you know spreadsheet or just even a piece of paper, write down the name of the people of your team, and then think about what motivates this person because people are motivated by different things. What capabilities do they have? Because there might be more ways that your team could participate uh, and uh, and also it will also help you to see you know who do I want to touch base with so a communication plan a people plan and the third is a risk management plan the risk management piece uh, some of our insurance uh, folks are probably very familiar with that it's the what-if scenario uh, we all want to have that risk management piece in the virtual space so having an approach and keeping things on track and then um, have, making sure that the small issues don't grow, that's what CPR is all about. So keeping that in check.